Hello everyone, it's Amy Rasavi here with Prairie Paper and Ink and today I'm going to show you guys um, some heat embossing on three different types of papers. So I am using the Snowflake Flurry stamp set and Snowflake Flurry Dynamics from My Favorite Things and I'm starting off here with some My Favorite Things Gold Shine cardstock. They've got Gold Shine and um, Gold Foil cardstock, both of which are the same thing. They're just different levels of shininess, I guess is the best way to explain it. Um, the Gold Foil is more um, mirror-like, so really reflective. Um, so here I'm just using Gold Shine, it's just personal preference. Um, they're both basically a coated cardstock. Um, they have a white backing and then the foil or the shine is on like the top of the cardstock. And I had a lot of people asking um, if you could emboss with them when I showed it in my last little haul video. So I thought I would try it out. So I die cut um, the cardstock with the Snowflake Flurry Dynamics and then I coated everything with my um, anti-static powder. And I'm trying really, really hard not to touch these die cuts with the my fingers because you don't want to get um, the oils from your fingers on the cardstock because that's where it would defeat the purpose of the anti-static powder. Um, because the embossing powder would stick to any spots where you're touching with your fingers. So I stamped the snowflakes with Versamark ink and with a cardstock like this with like a foil coating um, you need to be careful to stamp like kind of straight up and down and not wiggle your stamps because it can slide around a bit on the um, coating of the cardstock with the Versamark ink. It's just a little bit more of a slippery surface. So not really difficult you just kind of have to pay attention. And then, yeah, they emboss perfectly. So I just used a white detail embossing powder. You know, I just poured it over um, my go-to coffee filter here to catch the extra powder and then tapped it off. Um, reverse tweezers when you're stamping on small die cuts like this where there's not really any space to hold with your fingers are an absolute must. Um, I love these tweezers. I've been using them for goodness knows how long now. So, um, yeah, grab it with my tweezers, making sure the tweezers are gripping an area where there isn't um, a stamped area and then heating it up with my heat tool um, with this gold shine and the gold foil will do the same thing it will curl but I'll show when I'm done here I just lightly once everything's cooled off which only takes a few seconds I just lightly kind of bend it back with my fingers being careful not to bend it too much because you can crack um, you know the foil finish or whatever but yeah really simple it embosses just like any other cardstock and obviously here the white on gold looks gorgeous so once I was doing that, since I was in an embossing mood, I thought, you know what, I'm going to do everything. <laughs> so I die cut the snowflakes again, this time from MFT's vellum. And same thing, trying not to touch it with my fingers, especially vellum. It's really susceptible to this. And coated it again with the anti-static powder tool. That's another must-have item in my little um, crafting arsenal. And then I'm going to ink up the stamps again with Versamark ink and then stamp them onto the snowflakes. Um, and then yeah, I'm going to heat emboss this as well and vellum embosses beautifully. Um, you just need to watch because it, because it's such a thin, um, paper, um, it can heat up really quickly and can burn a lot faster than just regular paper, but it embosses so nice. And this time I decided to use black embossing powder, which if you guys have been watching my videos for a few years, I have mentioned in the past how much I hate black embossing powder. I really don't like working with it. However, <laughs> it embosses so nicely on vellum. That's about the only time I will use black embossing powder is on vellum because it just, the black stands out so nicely. It embosses really well and the stray um, embossing powder particles don't cling to vellum like they do with like white cardstock or any other things. So black embossing powder works beautifully on vellum and I'm Thinking about it now, it would probably work wonderfully on the gold shine and the gold foil cardstocks. That smoother surface would work better with black embossing powder. Whereas black embossing powder on regular cardstock, whether it be colored white, whatever, um, it's a pain. It just clings to everything and it makes such a mess. But um, in case I get asked, um, you could stamp it in black and emboss it in clear, but on vellum, it doesn't work as well. Um, that works well on cardstock, but on vellum, black embossing powder. If you want a black raised image, um, black embossing powder is the way to go. Um, same thing, vellum will curl. There's not a whole, you can't really totally bend it back and get it completely flat. But once it's adhered to a card, I don't mind if it's curled a little bit. It just gives it some extra, you know, dimension and look to it. Um, and yeah. So I did vellum and then I decided to just use regular old cardstock and I went with black. 
and again coated it really well with the anti-sag powder and since I'm working on a black craft mat here it helps to put all these die cuts onto some just white scratch paper so that I can actually see where I'm stamping to line up these images onto their respective die cuts. So same thing, coated everything with the anti-static powder and then inked up my little snowflakes with the Versamark and then stamped them onto the cardstock and then just basically doing almost like a mass production thing here. So this time I'm using gold embossing powder and I'm using, this is Ranger's um, fine, super fine detail gold, which personally, um, I like this for obviously more detailed images. For these snowflakes, I wish I just had the regular gold embossing powder because it's more raised, it'd be a little more shiny. Um, but this is all I had, so that I made it work. But it created a bit more of a gritty look than just a regular embossing powder would. So to each their own, obviously, if I had the other stuff, I'd use it, but it worked for this, it's still pretty. And obviously with the black, you can really see the anti-static powder. So this is where I took my Swiffer cloth and I'll have a link to this um, with the supplies. It's technically meant for floors and I've showed this in previous videos, but I use it and I rub it really well across the cardstock and it picks up all that remaining um, anti-static powder so that the black cardstock shows up and it isn't looking all like dirty gray. So gave it a good rub and then rub down my surface as well to kind of remove all that excess powder that I got everywhere. And that was it for now. So you'll stay tuned for the next video or two, depending on how I do this, um, showing some finished projects with these fabulous snowflakes. So I will post those separately so that I can refer back to this video. And yeah, links to all the supplies will be directly below the video here on YouTube or directly below the video on my blog. So make sure to check that out and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.